Hey guys, Frank here. It's Sunday morning and I am here at Armour Kill to meet a grassroots volunteer. You know those grassroots leaders that do the kind of things? What they actually do, ah? Uh? This is Mr. Prakash. He's an aircraft technician who, like many other Singaporeans, loves spending time with his family. He's also passionate about volunteering to serve their fellow residents in Amokyo. For today, mm. what, what will you be doing today? Oh, actually, today we have planning to do a house visit mm -hmm. on AKK. Ask copy a case a booklet. We're going to distribute to the residents in Block Four Six Nine. What is uh, AKK about? Like, what's well, the objective? Uh, it's actually uh, government policies. Explain to residents what is the government policies all about. Because some of the residents are not aware of the policies. How many residents do you expect to be like, engaging for the whole today? I think today we have uh, two hundred twenty units in Block Four Six Nine. Here we go. Uh, we are actually doing this. I am going in right now. <laughs> Is this a sign? <laughs> so, if you see this flood outside, most likely it might not have residence here. Um, let's go. And let's try go. More. Okay, the next one, I'm going to try knocking on the door and see whether if they'll respond to me and I'm going to try share them to them about AKK booklet, okay? Okay, that's good. Good try. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> yeah, from the RC. Yeah. And uh, looking for a career. They say somebody's looking for a career. Huh? Career, okay? Uh, I think one very challenging thing so far is language. But sometimes you need to really learn, like understand like the different languages to be able to better explain to them like this kind of uh, government policy booklet. 我今天是代表这个居委会来向你介绍一下这个问问咖啡友这是一个简单的一个说明书向你介绍一下一些政府政策 给您拿一本这个啊，这个咖啡友的一本书。这这里面呢是讲一些政府政策，可以希望对帮助到您。I can't speak Teochew. And then this is gonna like converse only in Teochew. I oh I know like food Teochew like you know like in some like some of the food names in Teochew I know. That's all. Honestly, the conversation is really like just immediate, like very on the go. And uh, the, the, the RC people just like engage and then like just talk to the auntie very casual that there's no like formality to it. It's just really keep it rolling. Finally we are done. Yes. <laughs> All the 200 units we managed to cover about I think 50 percent of the units. That's good, that's good. Okay. This is uh, not an easy task. Are you even sweating sir? Yeah. I think I need to wear dry feet next time. Because <laughs> I'm like sweating because so much. Dry feet, you can absorb all, uh, I need to get one of this kind of yeah. t-shirt next time. You need to come with the proper gear and the proper attitude in order to do this job. It was really a mind-opening experience for me to go to house. I have never done house-to-house -house visit before. I, I always like do not understand like how they actually has the like the willpower and the energy to do it. Is there like any perks for being a grassroots leader like, for you it's guys? It's not really perks. It's just our satisfaction. Some okay. people have a wrong idea. Say that, oh, yo, I joined grassroots, I get a free parking. Actually, it's not a free parking. You need to have a cup, uh, parking label for yourself. That means if I'm staying here, I need to buy a parking lot here. So. So for my grassroots work, if I go to other divisions mm. within Amokyo, I am I can park there free. Oh, okay. that, that's about it. So why do you volunteer personally? Oh, actually I volunteer uh, because when I help them, they feel good with we share with the other residents. So that's why I joined grassroots. When I joined grassroots, I am helping a lot of people, a lot of other Singaporeans in this precinct. I, I mean, I personally feel very good because residents uh, recognize us when we do something good for them or give them something which they are not aware of. They thanks us and fulfill our. Mm. Satisfaction. I think today has been really a rewarding experience. Uh, it is the first time that I am on the ground walking and talking to residents for this kind of like door to door visit. And I think it's really an eye opening experience. And I really like, can understand why Mr. Pragesh, like he as a person, puts in so much effort for the past 15 years to do all this kind of volunteer work. I mean, he's doing this at his own free will. And really, like this kind of reward, this kind of like interaction that he gets back. And also the 
the fact that he knows that he has been changing the lives of other people in his community allows him to be motivated to be passionate about his work. So for what Mr. Pragesh has done, the kind of like relationship he has created with the residents, I really appreciate you for taking all the time and sacrifices. And Mr. Pragesh, I salute you. Good job.